Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you like nostalgic games that come back to life, well, that's what my channel's about. And I like to talk about this gaming thing in general. But today's video, I want to compare that I noticed similarities with Elden Ring fans and Shenmue fans. I particularly am a huge fan of Shenmue. Now that's a game that not everyone was into, but it's a classic Dreamcast game that came back to life in 2015 when Yu Suzuki announced Shenmue 3 is going to come out. And then we got an upgrade of Shenmue 1 and 2 in 2018. And then of course Shenmue 3 in 2019, which was amazing. But here's where the similarities between Elden Ring fans come in and Shenmue fans. Now for a long time, Shenmue fans have kind of been in their own category. And whenever someone who doesn't understand Shenmue comes in and talks like Shenmue's a bad game or you don't know what you're talking about, most Shenmue fans, and sometimes myself, will defend Shenmue and say it's not it's because you don't give it enough time, it's because you haven't engrossed yourself in the story or engrossed yourself in that world. And if you understand it and give it time, you're gonna end up loving the game. Right? A lot of Shenmue fans do that. Well, if you don't know, a few days ago and by the time I published this, probably a week ago, I published a video called Elden Ring is a Bad Game. Let me explain. And wow, now I did expect the backlash. So if you're back here to find out my reaction to your comments, well then welcome back. And I did expect it because quite honestly, there was a couple of camps in me. To this day, I still don't think it's a good game. In fact, it's a bad game, but that's something that as a Shenmue fan, I've heard a lot about Shenmue. And I accept the criticism. Now, Elden Ring fans reacted so similarly to Shenmue fans. It's like, no, you gotta play the game, you gotta get into it. And those comments just, I wasn't offended by anyone, even those that insulted me and told me, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's, it's fine, you know, everyone has a right to their own opinion. And that's why I wanna kinda share it with you guys and share my reactions to some of the comments. And even some of these comments, I haven't read because they kept on coming in. This is one of my most commented videos on my channel, which is actually pretty cool and I wanted to react to them so that you guys can react to them. And who knows, if you did comment on my last video, maybe you made it on here. So here we go, without further delay. Let's start getting my honest reactions right now. So let's go to this first one that was posted two hours ago. LMAO, I agree with a lot you said. This was an absolutely hysterical review. I couldn't stop laughing at your commentary and gameplay. Unless you're willing to grind endlessly to level up, you're basically dead upon revival. Bro, you're mad funny and I really like this review. I, I don't, I didn't consider it a review actually. I considered it more of just like kind of my perspective on how I play the game and my first initial impressions, but that was pretty cool. Now let me scroll down, skip a few, see what this other person said. Baltazar Gaming Show 30, 3205 said, let me expand it here. Okay, wow, he had a lot to say, so let's get through this. Wow, you really test people out with that title. But that is actually the Elden Ring experience. I have to say I come from games like Skyrim, Ghost Recon, The Division, DayZ, etc. And when I knew about Elden Ring, I was just a bit meh. I have never played a Souls game, but this was it. I had to try. I wanted a game that would challenge me, that would frustrate me and bring me to the old days of gaming. Those where you couldn't solve the Resident Evil puzzles where you will die over and over again in Tomb Raider. The feeling of accomplishment when you beat Soul Reaver or simply had to translate the game from English to Spanish, since I live in Mexico, was hard for me with some PS1 games. Elden Ring made me feel like a little child again, not understanding the genre, the complexity, I had to look on the internet for some stuff on how to beat a boss or learning patterns was just insane. Been afraid of the nighttime because it was more of a hostile territory, and the feeling of every new single area having the new music theme, Altus is just breathtaking. As a musician, I can say that being a storyteller with a track is much more complicated than just making a score for a particular scene. Elden Ring, which means everything to me, made me learn about myself. So sorry it didn't work for you, but who knows, maybe if you face it as a little kid, just like old days when we had to look on the internet or simply try again until you make it. You might realize this is not just a game, it's a humbling experience. When I was young, or when I would play video games when I was young, there was no such thing as being able to look up games or how to beat a game on the internet. You just had to figure it out. 
or get a gaming magazine and I didn't have access to gaming magazines and it wasn't until I was a later teenager that I could sometimes use a computer at school to look up codes on games or something like that. So I wasn't really online looking up how to beat the games, especially the hard games when I was younger. I would just kind of do it. What gets me is that he engulfed himself in the world of Elden Ring and realized that, you know, it was to the point where playing the game kind of changed his life. And you hear that a lot in Shenmue fans, that they just play the game and it's just, it just changes them. Moving on. So here comes a couple of comments and then a reply. And again, I'm not, I haven't read all of these, so I'm just kind of reading them now for the first time. So we'll do a few of these and then I'll wrap up the video. Ja3561 says, this game was and still is overhyped. The people praising it as the best game ever or the best game this decade must either be too young to remember how good Dark Souls 1 was and how little From Software was actually grown since then, or they're just jumping on the hype bandwagon bandwagon without the studio's history. Go ahead, fellas, write your long response to this comment berating me for reduction or the simplicity of my argument. But the fact of the matter is that you've been duped. Elden Ring is just more. It's not a new experience and it's not industry changing. It's just a big ass Souls game with George R.R. Martin accredited with a story eerily similar to every other Souls born story. So it seems this person is just kind of like, he's into Souls, but he's like, nah, this is not a good game. This didn't change the industry. And I see that, I compare that to those that criticize Shenmue and the fact that Shenmue didn't change the industry. And a lot of people would say like, ugh, it, it, it was horrible. It did QTEs, which didn't help the industry. But I can understand from being a Elden Ring fan, being like, no, there are a lot of industry changing things that it did. But you gotta be familiar with the gaming industry and familiar with this type of game to know what it did. And quite honestly, it, it hasn't roped me in yet. Now this person, Talent Nicholas 9864 wrote, just another guy trying to get attention. Uh, no, I was actually trying to have a voice. Though, yes. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. YouTube, every video is about getting attention, getting clicks, getting views, and being relevant. But, I have felt this way about Elden Ring for a long time, since the game launched. And I didn't want to like talk about it like, oh, this game stings right away. I mean, because Elden Ring came out in 2022, sometime early in 2022. And here we are in 2023, almost a year since the game came out. And I, that's when I gave my opinion because I wanted to give it a chance and I wanted to like it. And then I couldn't. I tried and I couldn't. So this person's saying you're just trying to get attention. No, I wanted to actually voice my opinion, which seemed to be different from most people who play Elden Ring and say it's the best thing ever. It's the game of the year. I wanted to tell you guys, and, I, and based on a lot of the comments, there's a lot of people who don't think that it deserves to be game of the year, myself included. Uknozik wrote, this game just isn't for you. Right now it's not, and, and I just don't have the time, but I do believe that potentially there is something there and I'm not seeing it. And if I had the time, like if for some reason I'm stuck on a remote island with my Steam Deck and nothing else for entertainment and maybe a few drinks to get me in the mood to play, it might turn into a game that I love. And that's something that I wish a lot of people would give Shenmue a chance to do. And that's why I'm giving Elden Ring a chance because if I'm asking others to play Shenmue, get into the lore, and then of course promote it, then why wouldn't I open my eyes to say, okay, <laughs> granted, Elden Ring received a heck of a lot of attention, a lot more marketing, and all of that. But why wouldn't I open my eyes and say, okay, this horrible game that I don't like, I'm gonna still try to give it a chance. This person wrote, God of War isn't a game, it's a movie that plays half of the game for you. Now, that's a comment I disagree with. Now, the reason they bring up God of War is because I mentioned that God of War is a game that I actually do enjoy. In the God of War series, I, I've loved it since the PS2 days. Though it seems that there are a lot of cutscenes and a lot of story and a lot of lore, if you play those games, you know that it takes patience, you die a lot, and you eventually you get better and you learn. And that's generally 
kind of like what God of War is partially known for, along with its excellent voice acting, excellent world building. I mean, it's incredible, the lore that God of War has. But the gameplay is not easy, so I don't know. Now here's one comment. Okay, I can't say his name, but you see the comment right there, and he says, I get why some people hate Elden Ring, but your reasons indicate you don't understand how this game works, and it's too bad because Elden Ring is one of the best experiences ever. Replace that with Shenmue. In fact, I'll read it differently. I get why some people hate Shenmue, but your reasons indicate you don't understand how this game works, and it's too bad because Shenmue is one of the best experiences ever. That's what I mean. It's like, it's like I'm talking to a Shenmue fan, but rather than calling it Shenmue, it's Elden Ring. So I can hear a Shenmue fan saying that. I almost feel closer to the Elden Ring community that loves that game because a person like me says their game stinks. And we've seen a bunch of Shenmue videos like saying that it's bad. They come together. So we as gamers are more alike than we realize. I'll read a couple of more comments and then I guess you guys will get my point. Now, a lot of people had problems with my title of the video, where I pretty much said Elden Ring is a bad game. This person in particular, Florlan Florentino 1252, crossed out Elden Ring is a bad game and say it doesn't suit my personal taste. I wanted to bring up that opinion. A lot of people were pretty much saying that the title is wrong. Elden Ring is not a bad game. I may not like it or I don't like it, but it's not a bad game. The word and the choice that I used is Elden Ring is a bad game. A bad game is a, an opinion because what I find bad, someone else might find fantastic. If I think something tastes bad, for example, I think that this cake tastes bad. I don't like the taste of this cake, but someone loves it. That's an opinion. So for me to say it's a bad game, Maybe they wanted me to add it's a bad game for me, but you should already know that basing something on that opinion and saying it's bad is based off of my perspective. Now, using the word bad, they might be confusing it with some other context. Some people might say, the milk's gone bad, right? The milk's gone bad. If that means it's past its expiration date, milk is no longer good, it's bad. And you might use that and say, well, that's fact it's expired it's no longer good it's bad right but from that context i'm not using the word bad in that context you can't factually say a game is good you can statistically prove that most people like it but if most people like it or think it's good there are people out there that think it's bad and if i think it's bad i may be in the small percentage but it's still my opinion and I struggled with the title even before I posted the video. I'm like, can I say it's a bad game? Or, or maybe it's like, I don't like the game, right? And I'm like, no. My opinion is that it's a bad game. Doesn't mean that you have to agree with me. I still think it's a bad game today, but it can change. Short story, Shenmue. When I first played it on the Dreamcast, back when it came out in 2000, November 2000, we're talking 22 years ago when I first played Shenmue. I looked at the game and I was like, well, I played the first few scenes and then I, I just felt so depressed because the music just brought me down. And then it was really slow and I had to, you know, really explore the world and get into it. The, the music was enough because it was depressing enough because that's the mood it was trying to build that I just stopped playing Shenmue and I didn't like it but I gave it a chance. I heard other people's opinions and then it brought me back into Shenmue. And then because the, the story was a kind of a mystery and it kind of led you down a certain path and it can be funny, the voice acting, it actually, and then the different things that you can do in it, it was nice and then I was brought in and then I ended up loving the game. Now, Elden Ring, I might be at that point where I um, had the first taste, was turned off by a lot of the things that happened here. But I give an Elden Ring a lot more time to try to like it than I give Shenmue. Shenmue was able to turn my opinion around a lot quicker. Granted, different times, different game lengths, different types of games, but I'm still struggling with Elden Ring. 
So a lot of these comments actually do help me say, hey, you gotta approach it like this, or you gotta do the tutorial, and then you gotta realize that it's this way. So I get it, now I, I see the point, and we'll see what happens, but I'll, I'll do two more comments and then we're done. And again, a lot of these I haven't seen. I like the video, very interesting. Best from soft game thus far, laugh out loud in my opinion. And then uh, I'll use this mono reversal as the final comment. Now this is, man, looking at this comment section compared to Quantum TV's review just shows how important it is to be kind and understanding that the game isn't for you, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I do find, you know, that, that a lot of people in the comments were really dismissive and then others weren't. But the one thing that I felt with everybody is that they love video games. And if they don't agree with me, they wanted me to agree with them. And a lot of those comments were helpful. And the ones that did agree with me or liked my presentation, they were really nice. And they were, can see my perspective so that we can see that, okay, I'm not alone in feeling the way that I feel about this video game. All in all, comment section actually helped me not only understand why Elden Ring might be good, or I can lean towards certain aspects of it, but also help me understand that, hey, it's okay to not like a game. You're not alone, even if it's popular. And it's okay that if you don't understand it, there's, there's other people that do, and they can tell you the reasons why. And I appreciated everyone commenting because it helped that video to be my number one published video in a long time, even though I was away for a while, so. Um, thank you for listening to my responses to a lot of these comments and I might do one of these comment response videos in the future too Especially if it's as popular as all of these comments that I got on just this one video Anyway, as always you can make my day if you subscribe to Days is Magnus. I'm out Shenmue fans and Elden Ring fans. Holy moly We should come together and be friends. See you guys later